Hi, it's Yvonne here. I want to do a very quick um, bin video. Yes, I went to the Getaway Outlet bins and I'm just going to show you what I got. If you don't follow me already, please do. I am at Orihita Girl on my Poshmark. I saw on Poshmark. Most of the items that I find usually end up the way on Poshmark. And I also have an Instagram with the same name, or E J T A G R L Orihita Girl. Uh, but let's jump into the haul video. Now, I went to the bins. I usually go um, once a week. If I can, um, and that's only because me and my neighbor, we like to go together. That's like our thing. And it was, I didn't spend a lot at all. <laughs> you can see there, I only spent a pound. Just one pound. Yep, one pound. And three items were a quarter, so not bad at all. And this is the little bag of goodies. I just put it inside of this bag. It's a Doctors Without Borders bag that I picked up as well at the bin. Um, yeah, I just picked it up because it was just super easy and convenient. Oh, these items, actually, my neighbor gave me these two items. And this one I picked up at a yard sale. This is a, a Spanish movie. I like the actress. I forgot her name, though. Oh, Sandra Echeverria. Sandra Echeverria, that's her name. And I like her, so I figured... That I would like for that movie. It was only a dollar. And then my neighbor gave me these. This is uh, Alejandro Sainz Unplugged. It's a, like a concert of his. And then Mana Unplugged. Also a concert. And um, yeah. Moving on to the three items that I got for a quarter. Let me see. Well I got four items. But the guy really didn't. He didn't charge me for all the items. Um, this one is the Lazarus Papers. I like Danny Trejo. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'll get that. Uh, this one looks like it is a copy. Might be a copy, so I don't know. This one is uh, with The Rock. It is called Faster. So I grabbed that. And then I got this one. It's Molly Ringwald. I like Molly Ringwald. So when I saw this, I grabbed it. And it's called Fatal Love. It's like a drama, so it seems pretty good. I've never seen it or heard of it, so. I got this one because I was going to get this other one, and my neighbor said, oh, you have to get that one. That one is good, too. I like it. And it was a Demi Moore with strip teeth. And then, of course, I had to get this one because I don't have this one, and it is a, one of my... So I don't like favorite movies to watch because it was her breakout role. Uh, Elizabeth Berkley in Showgirls. If you have not seen Showgirls, it is Elizabeth Berkley's breakout role from Jessie Spano. If you don't know, she was on Sarah the Bell and Jessie Spano was definitely the feminist in the group. The woman who did not like being called an object and all kinds of stuff like that. To see her in Showgirls as a stripper was definitely something else. Although she wasn't technically a stripper. She was more of a showgirl. I don't know. A Vegas showgirl. But, you know. Uh, these I got. I don't know if they work. They're just little headphones. But I grabbed them because they have a zipper. And they look like a zipper. How neat is that? So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed this one because when I saw it, I was kind of hesitant, but then my neighbor, as always, was like, that's a very good, well-made, you know, quality strap. And I was like, you're right, it's got the um, strap here so that you can um, put it on your shoulder and it kind of distributes the weight. And it's got really great gunmetal hardware, really shiny gunmetal hardware. So, it's adjustable. And for the price I paid, honestly, yeah. Uh, I grabbed this one because I liked it. <clears throat> I just thought it was a cute little Ipsy bag. Uh, this one I grabbed because my neighbor said, oh, you should get it cause, because, you know, I was telling her about sending uh, free items with my Poshmark purchases. But, you know, I don't know if I'm going to send this to anybody. It is dirty. It needs to be cleaned. But it is Victoria's Secret, so I grab that. Mm. 
here's some other items that I picked up. I always pick up um, supplies for my Poshmark if I can. And I picked up tissue paper. It doesn't weigh anything. It's perfect to, to get. Uh, I also picked up this card because it was in the plastic and it was just thrown. And no one had picked it up. It was in the back of the bin. And it is a Hallmark signature card. It's very beautiful. It's got like a raised dress with little rhinestones on the on the uh, little girl painting there that it has, doll painting. It's really nice. And it says, you make the world more beautiful. Happy birthday. That's what it says on the inside. This is elegant, lovely, ever changing. And this was retails for $7.99. So finding it at the bin for the price I did was definitely a steal. <laughs> And I can give that to one of her friends. Now for my little friend that I have. And she's not little anymore. She's definitely getting older. But I got her these unicorn glasses. Because they're just fun. And they light up. Yeah, they light up. And they were new in the package. They hadn't even been like lit. Because the little tab is still in them. And I checked them. And they do work. So they're just fun. They're just fun little unicorn glasses. I got those for her. Last stuff that I got, and I'm showing this because I am going to send this out already. So I have to show this really quickly. <clears throat> I got some really nice little cards for my friend Marie. I'm going to send these to her. These are all for her, actually. They're just little prayer cards. Um, when I find things like this at the bin, they're just so lightweight that I'm like, you know, how can you not pick them up? And I found this too, and I thought this was a very interesting book. Uh, I figured maybe she could, you know, show a little bit of it on her channel. I know she does a lot of um, Catholic videos. So, and it's this book. It's called Welcome to Our Church. And as you see, it says it's a two-in-one book. So you flip it over, and it is your guide for the Mass. So basically, it talks to you about the church it's an introduction to Catholicism and you open it up and it talks about uh, different things about the church, the roles in the church, it talks about the people at the mass, the gestures. Um, it talks a lot about, it gives you kind of like a synopsis if you're come like coming into the religion and you're new or you just want to know more about the religion and you don't know certain things. The back, the other side of this book talks about the mass, so it's basically a guide to the mass.